Hey there everyone, welcome back again to another episode of Engineering with Preetam. In this video, we will be continuing our journey on PTC Creo Parametric. In our last video, we saw how we can utilize ribs inside Creo Parametric. In this video, we will talk about sweep tool inside PTC Creo Parametric. Sweep tool, as the name suggests, is utilized to sweep a cross section along a trajectory or a path. So without further ado, let's see how we can utilize inside PTC Creo Parametric. Okay, so now here you can see we are in our computer screen and you can see here I am already in PTC Creo Parametric environment. And I already have open few model to demonstrate a sweep tool, how we can utilize it. So this sketch is nothing but just a simple path and obviously we can modify it. Let me add a fillet here. And let's also add the radius value as 1.5. And let's hit OK. So here we can see there is a sharp corner and here there is no such corner at all. Now in order to start sweep command or sweep tool, we need to go here in model tab and inside shapes here you will find sweep. Just click on that. And then um, if you go here in message bar, it says that select any number of chains as trajectories for sweep. So basically it is asking us to select the trajectory to create sweep. So let me select the trajectory or the path. So this is my path of which I would like to sweep. And then this arrow shows the start point. So by default, the software considered this end point as my start point. And it's not necessary that you start anything from end. You can simply drag it forward. And basically you can also start sweeping a path, not from the end point, but from midway as well. So in this way, you can achieve a partial sweep as well. And we can also flip the direction of sweep. So it's totally up to us, like which end you would like to start from. So I just changed my end by just clicking on this arrow which in general we already are aware of being extensively utilized in PTC Creo environment to flip the direction. Now let's click here on sketch to get started. So let's click on sketch. So when we click here on sketch, what happened is since we already have trajectory, now what exactly you want to sweep along that trajectory? We would like to sweep a cross section that now we need to define. So let me actually click here on circle because this one is the simplest one or the simplest way to show you guys. So here I have kept this value as one. Now let me click OK. And there we go guys. Here we can see this cross section is being swept along this trajectory. That's how guys we can utilize sweep command. Let me show you one more use case scenario where one can utilize sweep. Um, for that I need to change my model. So here we can see this is a lamp and let's say, for example, I would like to create a wire that we generally see comes with the lamp and this wire generally have certain rigidity. That's how it not only lift its own weight, but the weight of bulb and bulb holder as well. So now again here, I can go here in model and then I can click here on sweep and then let's select this profile. By default, you can see here the software have considered this portion as the starting point, which is again okay, I would say. So it totally up to us, you know, we have just changed it to this one. Now we have kept it back here. Now let's click again on sketch. Now let's click on circle and now let's select this crossing point and now here we can specify the value let me define three and now let's click OK. So generally we have seen in past the PTC Creo parametric not only offer addition of material but removal of material as well so you can see all those settings also exist here. So we can see removal as a material we can also thicken the sketch just like we have seen in extrude and revolve, we can do that here as well. Now, um, we also have got this option which says variable section, which basically accommodate the section based on the trajectory. Now let's click OK. And there we go guys. And since this time I have used it as thickened, let me actually draw some plane here. So let me actually put it here. 
and now what I'm gonna do is I am going to create a section view across this plane and then we can see how this pipe is hollow and one more thing I would like to show you maybe I will create a dedicated video on it um, we can also apply you know different appearance or texture on it for example let's say it is a grace kind of support and wire for that I can again go to appearance and then click on edit model appearance and then here we have got this texture and here you can select image and then from here you can select an image uh, let's go with carbon and here we have got this Kevlar or carbon fiber I will prefer to have carbon fiber here and now let me close this and again go to appearance and now let's select it back and let's add it so now here we can see we have added this carbon fiber style appearance to this swept part so this was all about sweep from my side i hope you find this video helpful and informational if you want to understand the additional concept of sweep then please do let me know in comment down below i can make an extended videos that will cover all kind of advanced capability inside ptc crow parametric sweep and that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow complete ptc crew tutorial and i will see you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye